This year marks the inaugural season of the Moto E Racing Series, the newest addition to the MotoGP lineup. Consisting of 18 riders and 12 teams, this new series does away with the traditional internal combustion engine and utilizes the purpose built Energica Ego Corsa. With around 110 kilowatts or 147 horsepower, these machines seem to be reasonably reserved compared to MotoGP's 260 horsepower bikes. So, what's so exciting about Moto E? With the future of motoring being electric, it makes sense to infuse the world of MotoGP with electricity, showing hesitant fans what these machines are really capable of. Promoting a racing series like this will bring positive growth and research into the practical aspects of electric motorcycles. This research will help to innovate and improve the future of electric vehicles, and in due course, these technologies will be brought into the average consumer's hands. The high voltage lithium ion battery cells found in the Energica Ego Corsa bring in some of the highest torque figures seen in motorbike racing to this day. With 200 Newton meters or 147 foot pounds of torque available to the rider at almost all times, these bikes are able to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in under 3 seconds. The lack of traditional drivetrain components, including a gearbox and clutch, also means that there is never a risk of being in the wrong gear or shifts unsettling the bike mid-corner. However, these Moto E bikes are by no means the current limit of electric motorcycles. Mugen, a Japanese performance house, have been competing in the Isle of Man TT Zero series with their purpose-built line of Shinden motorcycles. These bikes are so incredibly fast that they are already lapping within 10 miles per hour of the lap record set by the standard petrol-powered bikes with a far higher curb weight. Lightning are also making the LS218, which isn't just the fastest electric motorcycle in the world, it's the fastest production motorcycle in the world, proving just how much electric vehicles can do with our limited technology. So what's in store for Moto E in the future? In its current state, Moto E is a relatively low-cost, one-make production bike series. In the future, more manufacturers will see the appeal of entering a race series like this and use their success in Moto E to sell their own electric bikes, much like many car manufacturers have done with the massively successful Formula E championship. So expect to see exponential improvement of all aspects of Moto E. And who knows, the increasing interest in electric vehicles might allow Moto E to surge to the level of MotoGP and beyond. But what can be said for certain is that the future of Moto E will surely be electrified.